our friends Mikey and JJ and their families are being hunted by these mutant endermen. Now, we have to build epic Coca-Cola truck houses to get our friends to safety before the sun goes down and the attack begins. Chip, we have 20 minutes before the mutant endermen get here, so we need to be quick, otherwise everyone is in huge danger. I agree, Milo. Let's get going. Okay. And I'll make mine right over here, Milo, using the official Coca-Cola colors. That's red and white, of course. I need to make most of my truck the delicious-looking Coca-Cola red. Coca-Cola itself is a nice brown color, but the can is always red. Yeah, my can is always red when I'm drinking Coca-Cola. I would hope so, Milo. Otherwise, that would mean you're drinking some other kind of knockoff drink and not the real Coca-Cola. Yeah, I would never not drink Coca-Cola. It's so scrumptious. And pretty fizzy too. Luckily, it also makes for a great truck to survive a mutant endermen attack. I can't believe they're attacking us and Mikey and JJ's families on our day where we visit the Coca-Cola factory. Today was meant to be so fun, but instead it turned really scary. Yeah, we were gonna get a tour of the Coca-Cola factory, but now everything's ruined. I know, Milo, but it doesn't have to be forever. We just need to make sure we build these trucks really, really good and can escape with our lives. Yeah, well, I'm doing a really good job as you can see. Yeah, Milo, you're actually doing pretty good so far. I'm going to write a big Coca-Cola sign on the side of my truck. I'm going to give it a really fun font. It's going to look so cool. That sounds good. I'm excited to see it, Chip. Thanks, Milo. Me too. I just hope I can get this done before the mutant endermen get here. Those guys are no fun. I can't believe they're trying to attack us like this. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure they're actually endermen are really scared of Coca-Cola. Yeah, because Coca-Cola has a lot of water in it, and endermen cannot touch water. Otherwise, they teleport away and take damage. That's why they actually never go out in the rain. They get way too hurt from it, and they have to go back inside or teleport to the end dimension. They also really don't like the fizzies. Yeah, it upsets their tummies. Poor endermen. I really wish they did like the fizzies. Yeah, but if they were nicer to me, maybe I would have them. But actually, they're pretty mean, and they want to punch me. Yeah, if they were nicer to us, I would just make them a version of Coca-Cola that does not have fizz. I have so much space in my truck. I'm sure we could make some. Yeah, especially if I could do the chemistry. Yeah, Milo, you're not the best at chemistry. Remember the last time you tried and you blew up my science lab? That was really funny. No, it wasn't funny. Milo, my hair got burned off. I had to wear a wig for weeks. It was awesome, and I made fun of you. Yeah, you did. I remember that really well, Milo. It was super mean. I'm not mean. I'm just an awesome guy. Yeah, you are pretty awesome, and you're pretty cheeky, too. I'm actually going to build the other side of my Coca-Cola truck with a big window. This Coca-Cola truck is going to have so many rooms inside, and we need a view. Otherwise, it won't look like we're inside a truck. It'll just seem like we're inside a really weird long hallway. That would be creepy. I don't want to go there at all. Hey, Milo, you won't have to go inside my Coca-Cola truck. That is, if your truck's good, you might have to come inside if your truck is too bad, but I think it'll be fine, right? Yeah, my truck's gonna be amazing. Milo, why are you putting wheels on the front of your truck? They're meant to go on the bottom, on the ground. Oh, what makes you a truck expert? I actually studied trucks for two months. Uh, Milo, why does your truck have a giant front part? Because Oh, your truck is facing the other way. Never mind, that makes a lot more sense. Sorry, Milo, I got pretty confused. Yeah, well, you're confused all the time, pretty much. And, Milo, I just have a question about where your truck is facing. Yes, you can ask me any questions. If your truck is facing this way, then when you drive it, won't it just go into the ocean? <laughs> You're right, Milo. The mutant endermen are on their way. And because you've already gotten started, we can't go back now. You'll just have to make sure your truck is a bit more waterproof than the average truck. Oh, yeah, boy. We're doing waterproof Coca-Cola trucks. I just hope you're able to do it, Milo. If you aren't, you'll be totally destroyed by the mutant endermen. And I'll be totally alone in my Coca-Cola truck. Although, I guess I will have JJ and his family. They love Coca-Cola, and they'll totally live here with me. Yeah, and Mikey's a turtle. 
well, so if we drive into the ocean, he'll probably be fine. He'll be fine, but I don't think you will, Milo. Luckily, me and JJ's family will totally be fine. Our truck is going to have some really solid floors. These floors are going to be made out of mangrove planks. They are a really cool red color, just like the Coca-Cola cans. It fits so well, and it's even JJ's favorite color. He loves red, and he loves the color white, too. That's why his entire outfit is red and white. It's a really cool combo, and I think he'll be really happy with the colors of my Coca-Cola truck. <laughs> Mangroves? What? Milo, why would you eat mangroves? They're a salty snack for me. You can't eat mangroves, Milo. Those are trees. Why would you eat them? Especially if they're yucky and salty. Nah, they're scrumptious. You just haven't learned about it yet. I don't want to learn about what it's like to eat trees, Milo. That sounds horrible. Yeah, well, maybe one day you'll be able to eat the mangrove as well for a snack. I think I'll be all set for snacks. Thanks, though, Milo. I will have so much food in my Coca-Cola truck. Look, Milo, I'm even making the steering section of my truck. Whoa, this is going to look so awesome once I'm done. I can just feel it. Yeah, I can feel it, too. That it's going to be bad. Hey, it's not going to be bad. It's actually going to be really, really good. Why would you want my Coca-Cola truck to be bad, Milo? Well, just because I want to be right. Oh, I guess that does track. You really love being right, and it can be kind of crazy sometimes, Milo. Yeah, I'm a crazy little guy. Yeah, you totally are. But look, my Coca-Cola truck is already looking awesome. I've made the entire outside section. I just need to make sure I add in a roof. Otherwise, this Coca-Cola truck will get rained on, and the water will go everywhere inside. This is a Coca-Cola truck, not a water truck, so I can't let that happen. Once I finish this roof, I will be able to make all of the rooms inside this thing. We are going to have so many epic rooms that me and JJ's family can enjoy. It's going to be really, really nice. We might even be able to go on a Coca-Cola road trip. I'm sure there's another Coca-Cola factory somewhere that does not have as many mutant endermen coming towards it. Now that the roof is looking really solid, I need to dig an outside section of the steering area, just like this. Let's also add in some mangrove planks here to connect it to the main truck, just like that. Whoa, this is looking awesome already. Now that I've done that, I need to dig some more of this concrete. We'll even add glass so that we can really clearly see through the front of this truck. This is going to be so fun to drive. We even need to add a little bit of glass to the sides. That way we have a much better view and we'll be able to see anything coming our way, especially mutant endermen. We'll even have mirrors on the sides of the truck so we can see all the way behind us. This truck is really, really long, so we'll need to be able to get a good look all the way back. In this inside bit, we also will need to place some more concrete. That way we have a nice dashboard. We'll make sure it goes in like this and we can even add a red seat here. We can sit here while we pilot the truck. Now for the most important part, the steering wheel. Look at that. We can actually twist it. I think we'll even remove these blocks actually. They just take up way too much space. This will be the steering area and let me add the speed pedals. These will let us control exactly how fast this truck is going to go. Now on the sides of the truck, we'll just add in some copper bars like this. This way we won't accidentally fall off the side when we try to walk through. That would be terrible. Let's also use the red seats as slabs for the ceiling. There is no such thing as red slabs, so by using the red seats, we make the color look really, really cool. Hey, Milo. Yeah, what's up? Why does your Coca-Cola truck look like a ladybug? <laughs> Uh, Milo, it looks like it has legs, and it looks like it even has a beetle shell and eyes. That does not look like a ladybug chip. You're delusional. Milo, it even has the letter L on the side, just like the way you spell ladybug. No, that's how you spell Coca-Cola. Milo, Coca-Cola has eight letters in it. This is just one. Uh -huh, look at this. You gotta read it this way. See? Milo, that doesn't spell Coca-Cola. That spells Cal. Oh, no, I told me. Milo, I'm telling you now. Cal is the name of the guy that runs our local pizza station. Well, I can't change it now because it took too long to build. Okay, Milo. I can't believe you're adding antennas. It's going to look even more like a ladybug now. But how else am I going to hear the radio? Oh, I guess that's true. You can listen to songs about ladybugs. <laughs> A dying fish? No, it doesn't. Hmm, let me check this. Hang on a minute. I guess it kind of does look like a bucket of salmon. Yeah, it looks like a dying stupid salmon. 
Hey, it does not look like a dying stupid salmon. Although, wait a minute, it kind of does. Uh-oh, this is bad. I need to add even more to this truck so it doesn't look like a dying salmon. And I need to do it before the mutant endermen arrive. I'm gonna go inside my truck, Milo. There's some stuff I have to talk about that you cannot hear. Yeah, whatever! Okay, luckily Milo does not want to hear what I have to say, which is really, really good. This needs to stay a secret. I have placed cameras all around the world so we can see exactly how far away the mutant endermen are. We need to check them right now. Okay, this first camera I set up is just in a village and it looks totally normal. You can even see the villagers just chilling. This is great, but let's check the other cameras now. The second camera I set up was in this swamp. Mutant endermen love dark places because they blend in really, really well. The only thing is they're kind of purpley and the swamp is pretty green. I do not see them here, which is really lucky. Now we can check the third camera. Camera three is looking pretty normal so far, but wait a minute, why are those villagers running? Hey, look, the mutant endermen are chasing them. This is bad. This means the mutant endermen have already reached the local mine shaft. We've got to get back, but I don't know if we can tell Milo. I do not think it's a good idea to tell him. Milo panics about these sorts of things and those mutant endermen getting closer and closer is just the sort of thing that would make him scream. That's it. I'm not going to tell Milo about this, but we do need to focus on making this build really, really quick. Those mutant endermen are almost here. I think the kitchen and the living room area should be right at the front here. I'm even going to make some mangrove blinds that look just like super cool shutters. These will help block out some sights that we do not want to see. Mutant endermen get really, really powerful when you look them in the eyes. That's why it's really important to have blinds in the kitchen and living room where we'll spend most of our time. When these guys attack us, we need to be able to look away and this will really help with that. On the side of the truck with no windows, we are going to need to start placing down the kitchen blocks. This is going to be where we do all of our cooking. We'll have two sinks because we will need to wash our hands a lot with all the cooking we're about to do. We're also going to have two fridges. That way we can keep our Coca-Cola nice and cool. Next, we will add a bunch of mangrove cabinets all the way around like this. Red and brown are some of Coca-Cola's most famous colors. The red looks just like a Coca-Cola can and the brown looks exactly like the drink inside. It is really, really cool to see this all come together, but we're gonna need a little more cooling space than just two fridges for our Coca-Cola. That is why we are going to have three red coolers right over here. This way we can keep a bunch of drinks inside and make sure they do not get too warm. Nobody likes drinking warm Coca-Cola. That's just gross. Next to the kitchen, we just need to have a separating wall like this. It doesn't have to be too big. I think this is actually the perfect size. Then on the other side, we can start adding in our sofas. Look how cool that one is. It's facing right towards the window. I think we might need to make it a little bit shorter. There we go. There are only going to be four people inside this truck. At least I hope so. Milo should hopefully be able to get his truck working. If he needs spare space, I actually don't have it right now. I think we need to check on Milo's truck right now before we add any extra space. I really hope his truck is looking good. And hey, Milo, why are you placing leaves under your truck? Because my truck runs on green energy. Green energy? That's really cool, Milo. That's a really responsible truck, but it kind of makes it look a little bit like something. Like what? Like a really awesome truck? Uh, not exactly, Milo. Remember how earlier I said your truck looked like a ladybug? Yeah. You do realize, Milo, that ladybugs love leaves? Um, yeah, I do realize that. This makes your truck look even more like a ladybug, Milo. Oh, my gosh, Chip. Won't you leave me alone? Yeah, I'll leave you alone. But, Milo, this makes me really worried. If you're building a ladybug instead of a truck, are you sure it's going to work and save Mikey's family from the mutant endermen? Yeah. Oh, Milo, I'm a little more than jealous. I'm really, really worried. If you don't get your truck working, Mikey's entire family will be in danger. They're gonna be fine because I'm a pro builder. You just wanna go in my truck and I'm not gonna build you any room. Oh, goodness. All right, Milo, good luck with the rest of your truck. This is bad. Milo is not listening to reason here. There is no way his truck works at all and Mikey's family is gonna pay the price. You know what? That's it. I need to add extra space for Mikey and his family inside my truck, as well as Milo too. He also deserves a space. You know what? Let's make two extra couches facing this way. That way we can fit all eight of us inside here. 
and we won't have to worry. We'll also need to have tables for everybody. This way we can all sit together and enjoy our time without having to spend every day worrying about the mutant endermen. The mutant endermen will still be a threat though, so that's why we need to add blinds to these windows too. We do not want to give them any chance to look us in the eye because then we'll be toast. We've also got to add in some bookshelves here. These are going to keep us occupied while we spend a lot of time running from these mutant endermen. Whoa, these bookshelves are so cool. Let's fill as many of them as we can with these super cool mending books. Mending is a really useful enchantment. If your weapons or armor take any damage, mending is able to heal them and by using the mending books, we'll be able to stop any damage. This means we can infinitely reheal all of our tools and all of our weapons. It will make us a lot stronger against the mutant endermen and give us a really good chance. Because there are going to be so many people inside my truck, we're going to need to make a big dining area. This is where everybody will sit together and eat our meals. We'll have to make this table a bit shorter, otherwise it'll take up way too much space in the truck and we won't be able to fit everybody on. Okay, I think this should be enough to fit everybody on. We'll just need to add one more chair here. We can also have a kids table over on this side for Mikey and JJ's kids to enjoy themselves. I'm actually not sure what Mikey and JJ's babies like to eat, so instead I'm just gonna put a flower pot on their table. I hope that's good enough. On the adults table, we'll have two flower pots. That's because flowers are really pretty and you can never have too many of them. We'll also have one in the kitchen so it smells really, really nice in here. We also can't forget to add some awesome carpets in here. Mikey and JJ's kids love running around and their feet get really, really dirty. By adding a bunch of carpets here, we help keep this place nice and clean. Otherwise, we'd be living in a total pigsty. Whoa, this is a really nice carpet design. Let's also add some carpets over in this other room. This room needs to be super, super comfortable. Otherwise, nobody's gonna wanna sit in here. And what's a sitting room if not a room that everybody sits in? That would make it just a normal room, which is not what we want at all. This room also needs to be pretty quiet since it is a library after all. That's why we are going to add white banners on both sides. They act like cool curtains that actually block out a lot of the noise. This will also help us hide from the mutant endermen if we need a place to run. We can add lots of light in here as well because mutant endermen hate the light. It actually makes their eyes really, really sore. So by adding a bunch of it inside our Coca-Cola truck, we help make it way more strong against mutant endermen. Speaking of making things strong against the mutant endermen, we are not going to be very strong if we don't get a very good sleep. That is why we need to have a sleeping quarters room where we can really rest up and get our energy back. This room was only gonna have four people in it at first, but after seeing Milo's weird ladybug truck, I have a feeling we are going to need to add four more for both Milo and Mikey's family to come and stay in. I'll add Milo's bed over here. That way only I will have to hear him snoring next to me all night. You're welcome, Mikey's family. As well as having a bed, every single person in this room will have their very own shulker box. I'm using different colors so everybody knows exactly which one is theirs and there won't be any confusion. Let's also add cradles on two of the bunk beds. This way, Mikey and JJ's babies can have a really safe place to stay and they won't risk falling off the side of the bed and hurting themselves. Let's also add these darker ladders. Whoa, they look really similar to the real color of Coca-Cola. This is pretty cool and they're also reinforced. That makes them a lot stronger against attacks, especially ones from mutant endermen. Now we need to add carpets going all through this room. It's a bedroom, of course, so the floors need to be really soft. Because carpets cannot be placed underneath trapdoors, we'll need to choose wool blocks instead, just like this. We can also place all of the wool blocks in this room too. That way it really looks like the whole floor is carpeted. Now it is way cooler than it was before. Even though we have built all of these rooms to prepare for the mutant enderman attack, we're going to need to do a little more than just this. At the back here, I'm going to have two chests. Inside of them, we are going to have so many arrows. These arrows are custom made to be used in epic battles. Every single one of them does something different and they are very, very cool. Hopefully, if we use enough of these arrows, we will be able to stop the mutant enderman army. We also need to add in some bows and some netherite swords in here. We'll add eight of them and one as a spare. This way, everybody will be able to grab one, even Milo, in case he runs out of weapons of his own. Now, one of the most important parts of building a weapons and armor room is actually adding in armor. That is why we are adding in netherite armor that has redstone powered through it. This way, it not only is super duper strong, but it looks exactly like the Coca-Cola colors. It is really, really awesome and should totally scare the mutant endermen. Finally, we will need to place item frames on the wall. We'll add an arrow in the left one and a bow in the right one. This way, we know where the bows are and where most of the arrows are. It'll be really helpful, but that is not all we're going to add in the weapons and armor 
camera room. There is also going to be a ladder at the very back. This will lead up to the roof of my truck. I'm gonna build something pretty cool here before the mutant endermen arrive. And wait a minute, the sun was up in the sky before. That means it's been ages since I last looked at it. Milo, we don't have a lot of time left. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Milo, you still haven't added anything to your truck? It still looks like a ladybug to me. Yeah, fine. I'll put some defenders on the roof. You're being such a bossy boots. Hey, I'm not being a bossy boots. I can't believe Milo would say that. You know what? I think Milo needs a little bit of convincing that his ladybug truck is not going to work. If Milo wants to build a truck that looks like a big bug, I'm going to show him exactly how buggy a truck can get. First, I'm going to need to use a splash potion of invisibility on myself. Whoa, I'm just a netherite chest blade. I better take this off so Milo does not see me. Okay, perfect. Now I just need to stay out of his way and he hopefully won't notice me. What's he doing up there? He's adding something weird. I just know it. While he's distracted, I can sneak inside his truck and start placing the bugs. First, I'm going to add in a bunch of cave spiders like this. Oh, spiders are so creepy, but they're not as creepy as they are when they're next to cobwebs. It looks like the spiders have built a nest in here. Let's also spawn in some regular spiders and oh no, that spider was taking damage. We better push it out so it stops making noise. That could have alerted Milo. That would have been really, really bad. He would have come down and seen what we've done. This is also a really messy truck. Why is there a sofa on top of another sofa? Oh goodness, we're about to do Milo a big favor by making him run out of here screaming. He'll be in a much better spot for it. We also need to add in some silverfish and some endomites. Whoa, endomites are so creepy. These bugs are so gross. Finally, one of my favorite bugs is the bees. They make honey and and we can even show Milo all the honey that the bugs inside his truck are making by adding honey to the walls. We can even add buckets of honey that'll go spilling down. Whoa, this is so funny. All right, now we better sneak over back to my Coca-Cola truck before Milo notices what we've done. <laughs> Look, Milo's seen a spider. This is so funny. I wonder if he'll see the rest of the bugs. Bad bees, get out of here, bees it! Oh, why is there so much bugs and honey in my place? Wow, Milo is totally freaking out right now. That is amazing. I better go back to my truck before the invisibility wears off. Yeah. Uh, no, Milo, I totally didn't. Oh no, if Milo comes over to my truck now, he will see that I'm invisible, and he will know that I totally pranked him. Uh-oh, we better go grab some milk from the fridge. Whoa, that could have been bad. I'm back to my normal self again. Luckily, I don't think Milo suspects a thing. My hands are all sticky from the honey, and hey, stupid bugs, get back here. Oh, I need to call an exterminator. Oh, Milo, do you need an exterminator for your weird ladybug? No, Chip. Milo, you just got pushed out of your truck by a silverfish. I think it's not looking good for you. Are you sure you still want to go through with it? Yes, Chip, I have to. I'm totally going to save Mikey's family and prove that I'm better than you. Oh, goodness, Milo, this is bad. I think you definitely need my help. Nuh-uh, don't even talk to me anymore. Oh, goodness, this is really bad. Milo cannot be doing this right now. It's the worst time for him to be all crazy. The sun's so close to going down. I better check my cameras again and make sure the mutant endermen are not getting closer. Okay, camera one is looking really normal. Nothing's happening in this village as usual. The only thing that is happening is the sun is going down. We have to check the other cameras now before it is too late. Whoa, wait a minute. Look at all these mutant endermen. This is camera two. This is so close to our Coca-Cola factories. Look, I can't move the camera, but you can see the can through the trees. This is bad. We need to get building now. I wonder if I can even tell Milo about this. To figure out if we need to tell Milo about this, we need to remember how many mutant endermen there were in that swamp. I can't remember. I was so distracted by panicking. You can rewind this video and check how many mutant endermen there were in that swamp. Comment below what number you think it is. That way I'll know exactly how panicked we need to be. Whoa, that is a lot. I can't believe there are that many and this close to us. That's it. I'm not telling Milo about this. He will panic and really worry. I think now we need to get started on building the wheels. I'm just going to raise my truck off the ground like this. We'll need to place pistons on every corner of the truck. We'll need to activate them all at the same time to make sure this truck is ready to be worked on. We just need to hurry. We can't take too much longer and... Wait a minute. Why are there chickens here? Milo, did you have something to do with this? I don't know what you're talking about. 
Milo, eggs are flying off the side of your truck. Yeah, it's my defense system. You told me to build one. Milo, I meant like TNT launches or something, not egg machines. Nah, -uh. TNT launches are too silly. I'm gonna do the professional way. Milo, baby chickens are not the professional way. This is bad, Milo. I'm gonna need to make sure the defenses on my truck are extra good just to make up for your bad ones, but I'm not gonna be able to do them until I raise this truck and build the wheels and engine. Yeah, Fudge, you're probably just gonna copy my idea or something. No way, Milo. I've got a much better one. You'll just have to wait to see what it is until after I raise my truck off the ground. Now that my truck is fully off the ground, we can actually start making these wheels. These wheels are not gonna be boring at all. They're actually gonna be so cool because these wheels will actually work. We'll need to place in some pretty complicated motors in this thing. All right, we'll also need to super glue the wheels together. That way they'll be really, really strong. Now we need to update this bearing and whoa, look, the wheel is actually turning. That is so cool. We'll need to place back these blocks that we broke and start adding these wheels all the way around this truck. We've got to make sure we build the wheel exactly the same on the other side. Otherwise, the truck will drive at different speeds on both sides and it'll totally go off the rails. Wait a minute. This wheel is spinning in the wrong direction. This is bad. We need to fix this right away. With a little bit of complicated engineering, I actually managed to get it done. And wait a minute. Now both wheels are going backwards. Uh oh, this is not good at all. There we go. Now the wheels are going in the right direction that they need to be going in. That was really complicated. I can't believe that was so difficult. What is this, Milo? Well, it's just my epic escape plan. Milo, that is a horse. Why aren't you building an escape truck? Well, my truck is an escape truck, and I also have an escape horse. So what you gonna do about it? Milo, I'm not gonna do anything, but how is Mikey's family gonna fit on that horse? Uh Milo, you haven't thought about how Mikey's family is going to escape? Well, I'm going to put it into consideration. Consideration? Milo, there's no time for consideration. The moon is already rising. It has definitely almost been 20 minutes, and the mutant endermen are going to be here any second. You know what, Chip? What is it, Milo? I don't even think they're real. You don't think they're real? This is bad. I think I need your help. If I tell Milo now, then he will panic and everything will go crazy, but at least he'll know. Although, if I lie, he will not panic and I can keep building my truck even better to save everybody. I need your help to decide. If you think I should keep it a secret and make my truck even better, like this video in three, two, one. Okay, I agree. I think I should keep it a secret. Thanks for your help. Okay, this is looking pretty good. I love how the wheels are all turning right now. This is a great sign that my truck will really actually go. Now I just need to make the engine. Wait a minute. Where's Milo? Milo, where are you? None of your business. Wait, I hear you over here. Milo, what are you doing by the ocean? Are you fishing? Yeah, fishing. Since those endermen aren't real, I thought I might do some lovely fishing. Oh, Milo, that's not what you should be doing right now. Uh, you know what? I just need to make my truck better. I can't be talking to Milo about fishing. Okay, Milo, have fun. Yeah, bye. Even though we told Milo that we were happy for him fishing, I am definitely not. The only reason I said that was because it would help us make this truck extra, extra good. Now we need to make the engines. These engines have got to work. Otherwise, Milo will be in even more trouble than before. Okay, this is a pretty complicated design, but just trust me, it's going to work really well. It needs a lot of air to cool down, but that's just because this engine runs really, really hot. Okay, the final thing to add to this engine is burning campfires. Oh yeah, these are pretty pretty awesome. They actually work to make sure this truck has a bunch of power. Now we just need to grab some trap doors and put it all the way over here. That way the smoke will not block our vision of driving. The pipes will actually lead around the back of the truck just like this. This is what the pipes on the sides of real trucks are actually for. It is really cool once you learn what they're used for. Now we will make sure the pipes go back and up just like this. Whoa, this looks like a really cool truck. It is such a cool truck that it is almost ready, but not 
not quite yet. There is one last thing I need to add to this truck. Then we'll be able to use it to drive away, and we can tell Milo the truth about the mutant Enderman. This truck needs defenses, and it's got such a powerful engine that we actually have a lot of power to spare. That is why, on the front of the truck, we are going to have mechanical drills. This way, if we drive the truck into the mutant Enderman, they will take lots of damage. We just need to make sure that all of these drills are properly powered up. We can do this by attaching them to the gear system. Oh yeah, this is looking really good already. Come on, we have to go fast. By placing gears all the way around just like this, we make sure every single drill in this network is working properly. Now we just have to link it up to the real engine and oh yeah, we just have to adjust the speed on this thing to make them go even quicker. I think 100 is the perfect speed for these drills. Let's punch up this grass. I don't want holes under my truck. Whoa, that looks so awesome. This will totally take care of those mutant endermen. I think we can even add more on the sides. Because drills don't work very well from the sides, we can add mechanical saws just like this. This will make our Coca-Cola truck extra strong. We can place them under the letters just like this. Oh yeah, this is so cool. We'll need to leave gaps in between them and the wheels so that the wheels do not get caught on the mechanical saws. Otherwise, they might accidentally puncture the wheels and we will not be able to properly drive this. I'll leave the back open. We might need to use a different kind of defense at the back. So it's important to leave room for it. Now we just need to add motors to every single mechanical saw so they all activate and go just like the ones from before. Oh yeah, this is going to be so cool once these are all ready. Wow, look at how amazing all these different mechanical saws look. This truck is almost complete. I just have to make the final defense at the very end here. All right, I think I know exactly what I want to use. At the very back of this truck, we are going to have one very quickly spinning engine. Whoa, that is so fast. Then I need to place a bunch of wheels attached to it, just like this. Oh yeah, this is looking exactly how I wanted it to. Then if we replace two of these wheels with mechanical bearings and add basalt to the back, we can add in these mechanical harvesters. Oh wow, these are about to do some real damage. The faster these things spin, the more hurt they deal. And if any mutant endermen comes super close to the back of my truck, they will feel the wrath of these crazy harvesting devices. Whoa, they are so quickly spinning. Now my truck is ready, but hang on a minute. I think I can hear the villagers screaming. This is bad. I need to check the cameras one last time. Oh no, the village is completely overrun by mutant endermen. This is bad. That must have been the screams I was hearing. Oh goodness, I have no choice but to tell Milo the mutant endermen have arrived into the village. Milo, Milo, I have something very urgent I need to tell you. What is it? The mutant endermen are real and they are coming to us right now. They're gonna destroy Mikey and JJ's families unless we get our truck started and get out of here. <laughs> We can do this, Milo. All right, Mikey, JJ, everybody inside now. Come on, Mikey's family. Let's go. Let's go. You guys got this. Milo, JJ's family is already safely inside my truck. You just need to make sure Mikey's family gets on too before the mutant endermen get here. Hurry up, guys. We gotta go fast and Mikey's baby. Come on. We don't have time. Milo, he's a baby. He can't go fast. Oh. Oh my goodness, Milo, there's no time for this. Come on, everybody should just come inside my truck. I've made enough room for everyone. Oh, fine, we're coming over. All right, Milo, I'm gonna start this truck. I can already see them in the village. Come on, why isn't this thing going? Hey, something's definitely wrong. Oh, no, it's totally broken. Milo, I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna stay here and try to fix this if you go check what is in the engine. Okay, Chip, I'm gonna go out there. You'll need to use the ladder on the back. Where's the back is in the back, Milo. You'll find it. I just know you will. Okay, I'm here now. And let's see what's going on. I'm gonna go all the way to the engine area. Good idea, Milo. Come on, we have to figure this out. The mutant endermen are getting closer. Look, they're teleporting to us. Hi, Chip. Hi, Milo. Whoa, that was a jump scare. Can you see what's wrong? <laughs> Chickens? Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to break the glass. This is an emergency. Wait a minute, Milo, I think you're right. Why are there chickens in the engine? I don't know, but this is weird and we don't have time for this. Milo, did you get the chickens in the engine from your silly egg launches? Maybe. 
Oh, goodness. Milo, this is bad. The truck is not going to go with chickens in there, and we can't get them out. We need to fight these Endermen right here before they destroy our trucks and Mikey and JJ's families. <laughs> Milo, don't run without any weapons. Oh, this is bad. Hang on, Milo. I'm going to go grab as many weapons and bows as I can to try and save you. Ah, I can't see anything. Something's punching me. Oh, no. Milo, that's the mutant Enderman. They have blinding powers. Oh, God. This is bad. All right. I have all the materials I need. I am fully equipped with netherite armor, and I am making my way to you now. Yeah. Oh gosh, I'm gonna need to eat some enchanted golden apples right now. And whoa, Milo, what is happening? There are so many mutant endermen here. They've blinded me. Ah, but there is something crazy to me. I need some carrots, please. Oh no, Milo, this is bad. Hang on, I'm gonna retreat to the truck and try to take them down using my bow. Quickly, Chippa, this is so horrible. Oh goodness, whoa, Milo, they're summoning armies of crazy pink endermen to attack us. I can't see no, Milo, this can't be it. Don't worry. We'll take down these mutant endermen together. Quickly, Jim! Phew, I managed to get far enough away, and the golden apple cleared all the effects. Whoa, this is bad, Milo. The mutant endermen are onto me. Hey, look, I'm not getting blindness anymore. The golden apple must have given me the strength I needed. Yeah, well, lucky you, because I have to hit them with a carrot, and they're really messing me up. Oh, no, Milo, that's terrible. Terrible. I'm going to keep using as many arrows as I can. These are slime arrows, Milo. They bounce everywhere. I'm blind and I can't see anything, but I'm still shooting with my awesome epic arrows. Whoa, that's great, Milo. I'm using a super crazy sword to take these guys down. And I can even use lightning arrows to shock them with crazy lightning from the skies. Yeah, my arrows aren't doing any damage. What? How is that possible? Where even are you, Milo? I know. This is bad, Milo. Don't worry. I'll be able to take out these guys all by myself. I, I just know it. Oh, no. They're teleporting me towards my truck, and the truck still isn't going. The chickens in the engine have really done some damage. This is bad. I don't know what we're going to do. Chip, I need you to save me. Milo, I think I found you. Don't worry. I have freezing arrows. These will slow any mutant endermen that get hit by them. Wait a minute. Milo, this isn't working. This is really bad. I think I have one final idea that might be able to help us. What is it, Jack? We are right next to a Coca-Cola factory. If my theory is correct, that Coca-Cola can has a lot of Coke built up inside. Maybe we'll be able to shake it so much that it causes it to rain, which will destroy these water-hating endermen. What? All right, it's our last shot. Luckily, I have these enderpearl arrows. I just really hope this works and doesn't land me somewhere bad. Oh, goodness. I need to climb using these enderpearl arrows all the way to the top. Okay, we're really close up to the top of this Coca-Cola can. I'll just fire another ender arrow really, really closely. But whoa, that almost totally knocked me off. I've got to be a little bit more careful here. All right, we're up to the top. Milo, are you ready? I'm going to fire a bunch of lightning arrows inside this Coca-Cola can. Hopefully, it fizzes up and makes it rain. I'm ready, Freddy! All right, come on, this has to work! Let's go, let's get these endermen! Wait a minute, Milo, look, it's totally working! Okay, it's raining and these endermen have disappeared! Whoa, Milo, you're right, they totally did, they all just vanished! Quickly, Chip, we should probably drive away before they come! Yeah, good idea. Come on, let's get back into my truck right now. Mikey, JJ, everybody's still here. This is perfect. All right, everybody, buckle in. We are about to take this truck for a test drive. Let's go! Milo, look, we did it. We drove this truck to a super safe place, and the day is coming back. Let's go, Chip. We survived. And your ultimate Coca-Cola truck totally saved us. Yeah, woohoo!